About a month ago, I created this castle scene which had a little medieval village in the background. That up close looked like absolute trash. So in this video, I'm gonna try to redeem myself by creating an actually good looking detailed medieval village in Ben. For that, I first have to make some house. So I'll start by modeling the basic shapes and adding more detail little by little until it's done. Then for the textures, I'll just mix a few different rocks and plasters together, as well as adding some more variations in dirt using some noise textures and an ambient occlusion node, just to further reduce that textured look. After that, I just need to texture the other parts as well and the house is done. But now I'm kind of realizing that because of the type of lighting I plan to do for the scene, you're not gonna see any of the details in the houses anyway. So I think for the rest of them, I'm just gonna use pre-made assets. But speaking of lighting, for this scene, I want it to be the main attraction. So to achieve that, the plan is to have the foreground and character lit by warm, fiery tones, but still keeping them dark, which will then contrast against the background, which I will keep in brighter, cooler blue tones. Then to draw the eye to the character, I'll add a bright rim light from the right side, which we'll just pretend is the moon. Also, to give the warm tones a visible source, I'll add some torches to the scene as well. After that, the next step is the ground material. I think cobblestone feels kind of medieval, so I'll use that. On its own, it kind of feels too clean and boring though. So to crunch it up, I'll add a few dirt and wet spots in the mix. Additionally, because I feel it's still missing something, I'll add a bit of grass. Now, if we look in the references, we can see that there usually is a lot of clutter laying around on the sides of the road. So to replicate that, I'll add a few barrels, wooden crates, maybe a few wheelbarrows as well. And yeah, in my opinion, that looks good. So now we just have two more things to do before the scene is done. The background, and the character. So let's start with the background. First, I'm gonna add in a few mountains and put the material I already had for the mountains in my castle scene video onto them. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Afterwards, I'll once again add an image of some clouds behind the mountains, as well as adding a few cloud cards in front of them to add a bit more depth. Initially, I tried using my own procedural cloud setup for this, but because of the stylus lighting, that didn't really work. But yeah, now the background is done, so let's move on to the character. And I don't have much time left at this point, only a couple of hours, but still, I don't just want to use a pre-made one because it's like the main focal point. So what I do is I'll download an animated character off of Mixamo and just clothe it in a cloak I'll model myself, which will then fully cover him up and hopefully make it my own. One funny thing about this though is that the only animation that kind of had the vibe I was going for was this dude just walking around texting. Very medieval. But yeah, now I just have to model the cloak, which is a bit of a problem because in the past I've always really struggled with modeling clothes. So I looked around a bit and found out it's pretty common to use cut patterns made for actual real life sewing and use them in Blender. The problem with that though is that I just don't understand them. So I'll go one step further and look up actual sewing tutorials, which actually work really well in my opinion. After that, I'll just put a dark silk material onto it and animate the camera. And now I'm done, which means we are ready to render. I only have a GTX 1650 though, so if I want to finish this in time and still have a clean render at the end, I'm gonna need to use my temporal animation stabilization node rule because it can take a flickery render like this to a clean one like this. And by the way, if you want this node group as well, then it's available for just $1 on my Gumroad. The link will be in the description. But yeah, now after adding a bit more mist and some color grading, here is the final video. Thanks for watching.